watching one of the greatest performers of all time, Bjork. She is such a queen and I really admired and looked up to her and she's inspired me since I was a wee wolf from All You Need Is Love to her more recent albums like Vulnikura and yeah, we got tickets to see here tonight. I usually Google things. I usually check to see like, oh, what's gonna happen? Or like when we watched Damon Albarn, oh, so good. I was like, okay, it's gonna be Strings, his new album. But tonight, I'm just gonna go in with fresh eyes and allow myself to be surprised by Her Majesty. I remember when we were in Iceland, looking at the terrain and everything, I was like, you know what? Now I understand why she writes the way she does because just being inspired just like the scenery and everything the aesthetic of Iceland is so magical and so vast and it's like an alien world yeah I'm really excited <laughs> It was truly a magical experience. Couldn't film inside, but just in awe. Bjork, well, she's the OG, fairy queen, and like I tried to record, but then we got caught. And <laughs> what is the concert in one word? Uh, magical. That's what I said. <laughs> hanging out, skating around Venice Beach. We are now having dinner at Teddy's right now. Tijuana style beef birria. So if you're a first timer, they recommend the platter. So Q got the all beef platter over here. And I got the veggie platter and they give you this cool kind of soup slash dipping sauce where you can dip these things into. Sorry. I really forgot what they're called but everything looks amazing and we're gonna dig in.
And it helps that he just sent me an article all about it. Mm. How is it? So I'm just like obsessed now. Oh. So it was Lanelle's birthday on the 25th and she was off to Hawaii. And we're back now from our trips and we promised we'd treat her to a very, very special, awesome Japanese, I believe one Michelin star degustation, omakase restaurant called Morihiro in Atwater Village with a chef who I believe has been in the industry for like over 30 years and who grows his own rice or like works with a spe um, specific farm for the specific rice and apparently everything is just dreamy based on what I've read on the internet so yeah I'm really psyched here we go Hello? Hello? 